Welcome back. Kilted Piper here. Um, I was just about to step outside and have a bowl of my Dunhill My Mixture 965 when uh, I was interrupted just as I was starting the video, uh, getting ready to start the video. I was interrupted by the UPS truck again. I'm actually glad that happened because I am not going to smoke a bowl of my mixture 965 now because we have a new box. Now, many of you will already know, as soon as you see this, you know where it's from. Smokingpipes.com. I love how they place this here on the side to show you who packed your box. So this box was packed by, and I'm going to slaughter this one, Marijo, M-A-R-I-J-O, or J-A. Uh, I think that's an O, but I'm not quite sure. So, let's see how they did. Now, I've gone ahead and cut the top open just to keep me from making a fool of myself with a box cutter. So, let's see what we have here. Let me make a little bit more room here. Okay. No, I don't have any pipes to send in. A lot of stuffing. Okay. Now, oh, one of my subscribers made a suggestion. Um, my last video that I was having a problem finding a tobacco that I really loved. I found a few that I liked, but I liked parts of each of them. They were still missing something. So they made the suggestion that I try and the tobacco and see if it would fill the void what I'm looking for. So we have the Seattle Pipe Club's Plum Pudding. I've been hearing a lot about this one, so I went ahead and ordered the 8 ounce can. But I decided to go ahead and get two of them. Just in case it is what I'm looking for, I got one going in the cellar, along with the one that I'm going to be smoking. So I went ahead and got a full pound of that. Someone else suggested Cult Blood Red Moon. So I went ahead and ordered some of that to try as well. And went ahead and ordered yeah, five tens of that one since you get the discount at the five ten mark went ahead and got some to put in the cellar just in case that ends up being one that I like um, one of the previous ones that I have now that meets part of my requirements, but it's still not everything, was the Elizabethan mixture. So brought in another five tins of Elizabethan. Um, I decided to try some other tobaccos, um, a couple that I've been hearing good things from other people about.
Kramer's new mix. I went ahead and brought in a pound of that. Along with Kramer's Father Dempsey. Went ahead and brought in a pound of that one. One other one that uh, a lot of the people on YouTube in the community have been uh, talking a lot about and since this is Friday I went ahead and brought this one in for Friday since everyone seems to smoke this one on a Friday yep you already know what it is haunted bookshop so I went in and brought in a pound of haunted bookshop um, I do not have a Friday 7 alley pipe, unfortunately. I have my Friday 7 alley smoke for the pipe, but, or my Friday smoke for the Friday 7 alley pipe, but I don't have a pipe that is dedicated to Friday. Um, I don't dedicate my pipes that way. I smoke whichever pipe I get ready to smoke that day. When I open my cabinet where my pipes are, whichever one speaks to me is the one that gets smoked that day. So they've all been smoked on different days of the week. So I decided I'll go ahead and set apart a pipe just for Fridays. That way I can smoke the haunted bookshop. Now they um, did not see the pipe that I was actually looking for, um, but I saw a different 7 Um actually happened to catch one on sale. I had no intention on getting a pipe. I was going to take one of my 7 LEs and just repurpose it for a Friday pipe. No intentions whatsoever on getting another pipe because I don't have room for them. Um, oh, also, Pipes and Tobacco's magazine. Um, my pipe rack is completely full. I have no room. None of my um, corn cob pipes are on the rack. I have um, somewhere around 40, between 35, 40 of those. Don't have no room to be racking corn cob pipes. So uh, I only have my briars on the rack. I have two different racks. They're both full now. But, just called to me. This is actually two pipes. So we have a set of pipes in this particular one. Okay. They're stepping up their pipe sleeves a little bit. I've noticed the past couple seven ellies that I got in were not in the cheap pipe sock that uh, my others had come in. Um, I think they did it just because of this day and night set. Uh, information on the day and night set, letting them rest, all that. They have the uh, filters and the adapters if you choose not to use filter. My 7LA church warden, uh, two of the church wardens I brought in about a week or two ago, uh, one of them was also in a velvet. Uh, not exactly pipe sock because it's made the same way this one is more of a pouch 
that folded over. That one actually had the ribbons that came around to tie to close it. These don't. But it has the sun on that one and the moon and star on that one. So day and night. So we'll go ahead and take these out here. So this is the day. So this is the 7 LE day. Uh, no number on it. Just stamp 7 LE day and has the sun stamped into the side of it there. So it's a bent apple. I believe that's a bent apple shape. Okay. Already has the filter in place. Okay. Okay. So that is the daytime pipe. Now let's take a look at the nighttime version. It's quite a bit different. No, that one is definitely a pot. A bit shorter and fatter. I don't know about this stem though. Um, that is a wide stem. Pull the day out. The difference in the widths of the shank and stem there. So where this one is round, this is more of an oval shape. A little shorter this way and spreads out wide. And the daytime had the sun on the side. Nighttime has the moon and star up on the top. Just a little bit of a curve or bend to that one, you know, as much as the daytime. I learned my lesson once already. Uh, I will never again pick up a new pipe and just draw in on it to check the airflow. I blow out first. Uh, cut a mouthful of dust on a pipe just a while back. Uh, new pipe, it was full of dust. Day has a more open draw than the night does. Oh, just noticed on the top has 7 LA night stamped into it. And on the bottom the 7 LA marking looks like T16 or 716, excuse me, no. That first number is just barely stamped in. 316 KS. So king size and Italy. Now this one, oh, it's around the other side. Okay. 7 LA logo, then 602 Italy. Now, I thought the night was just a solid black, but it's not. It is black, but if you look real close, you can see the wood grain showing through the black.
it's not going to show up on the lighting. It's not right to get the wood grain to show up. So since it is Friday, I'm going to try the haunted bookshop today. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff jarred up. Um, I'm going to get this jarred as quickly as I can. Go ahead and get it vacuum sealed and get it in the cellar. Uh, what small amount I'm not going to keep out. I'm going to keep probably about four ounces of it out. Um, vacuum seal the rest of it. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and get these tins sealed up. Put them over in the cellar. And then we'll go ahead and relax. Try some of the hard bookshelf. Okay, we're back. I got all the tobacco uh, jarred up, got it moved over into the cellar. So I decided to come out, try a bowl of the haunted bookshop. This is for you, matches 860. Um, I decided not to break in the new 7LE that we got today. I don't want to try a new tobacco for the very first time in a brand new pipe that I haven't broke in yet. So I decided to go ahead and grab one of the seven LA's that I've been using for the past couple weeks and go ahead and try it in that one. So I know basically what the baseline for this particular pipe is. <laughs> um, I'm tasting more mid-tones, not quite the highs that the Elizabethan mixture and the, uh, especially the My Mixture 965. This one has a little bit more of the depth that I'm looking for. Not a lot, but it has a little bit more of the depth I'm looking for. It's not quite as sweet as the other two. Um, so it's not it's any more mid-tones, not the real highs where those were. Not really getting a perique, um, a peppery note, so I don't believe this one has. I haven't even read what's in this one yet. I don't, I'm not sensing any perique in this one. Jury's still out on this one. okay. It's still missing something though. This could be the Friday smoke. But as far as my daily smoke, no. It still doesn't have everything I'm looking for. Now, if we're going just by 
10 note. Of the ones that I went in jarred up today. Or in this case, bag note, since they, oh, the pounds came in bags. We have a very strong front runner from just what I was smelling while I was jarring them up. We have a very strong front runner that may be what I'm looking for. And it actually surprised me. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I was thinking a different one was going to be the front runner. But this one surprised me. There was one that, as soon as I opened the bag, the angels sang. The aroma coming out of that bag. Oh, it was heavenly. I have never had the desire to want to eat tobacco before until I smelt that one. That one made me so hungry. You're probably thinking it was the plum cake. It wasn't. Plum cake did smell good, but one of the others beat it. Just going on 10 note alone, if I were to pick a winner for my everyday tobacco, Kramer's Father Dempsey. This one. Oh my God, that smells so good. <laughs> um, I can't wait to try this one. This one's going to be the next one that I try. My money right now is on Father Dempsey being the the flavor that I'm looking for. If it tastes anything like it smells, that's what I'm looking for. Unfortunately, most tobaccos don't taste anything like they smell. But for those of you that know what, or those of you that have tried the Kramer's Father Dempsey, you know what this smells like. This is the taste I'm looking for. The taste like this smells, if, you, if that makes sense to you. So hopefully that's going to have the right taste, but I'll find out in a little while. Um, if not, If you know of any others that have a taste comparable to the smell of Father Dempsey's, let me know what it is, and I'll go ahead and give that one a try. That smell, that's the taste I'm looking for. Until next time, aloha from Hawaii.